Hey, I'm gonna uh, show you my new solar setup. Maybe it'll give you some ideas. Maybe you can uh, offer me some improvements, but here's what I've got. Okay, this is <clears throat> my circuit board <clears throat> on it. We have, just, just to start with, of course there's no batteries here, but just to start with, you have the inverter. Okay, the inverter. <clears throat> this comes straight off the batteries, which is obviously not here right now. <clears throat> this is the positive going to a uh, 175 fuse. The inverter is two, at 2,500. Um, it continues here to uh, the actual off switch. This is the uh, disconnect. Um, we have got uh, also the solar charge controller. This has become one of my favorites, this Victron Energy. Very, very nice. It's got a blue, uh, Bluetooth interface. The uh, interface uh, is very clear. It's got a history. It's got trends. It's very nice. From there, the out for the PV is right here. This is the so this is solar panels, and this is your photoelectric voltage. It goes out here like this, and I'm gonna I have a, a quick disconnect that connects to the um, <clears throat> solar panels. You'll see that, and then it has a fuse on it as well. And here we've got going to the battery, um, your positive and negative. The negative is connected to a shunt. Now this is also become a favorite. It's a Victron. It goes into the same interface as this Victron. Works very well. This goes to the negative terminal of the battery. I do not have a midpoint. I could do a midpoint, and I'll, uh, I just don't think that's necessary. The positive, of course, goes to the positive of the battery. Very simple, very easy, good layout. The other shunt that I did was a lot more difficult to do. <clears throat> the positive side of the battery uh, uh, connector for the, uh, for the so uh, charge controller goes to, this is my, my switch, you know, my, my on off, that's off. All right, this is also a, uh, I kind of use that as an off if I need it. That is a kind of a quick disconnect um, fuse, 60 amp fuse, and this goes to the battery. That's it, very simple, nothing complicated about it. Um, when I get set up, I'll show you how it operates um, in, in real time. Okay, here's the final setup. Um, you will see that I have drilled a hole through the floor. This is the kitchen, by the way. All right, and we've got, I'll zoom in. It's ugly, I know that, but this is a temporary setup, so don't give me, don't give me any crap. It's a temporary setup. Okay, so we've got uh, all the positives on this side, because this is banked, and all the negatives on this side, all right? Um, you can see where we talked about before, that's the negative, and uh, these positives of okay, Kylex like said it's ugly don't give me any crap I know that it's temporary I'm just temporarily putting it here to to uh, charge these batteries on, on a different solar panel okay and uh, the only thing I got to do is I got to just like I've done with these um, these cable ties I got to cable tie that um, everything else is you know good to go uh, what I would like to do is I would like to have a um, so this is a fuse controlling the shunt. I would like to also put um, behind the fuse, I'd like to put a switch, or in front of the fuse, I'd like to put a switch. So I can turn that on and off uh, without having to worry about the battery, okay? And that's it. I mean, this, this wave inverter uh, is uh, absolutely amazing. This pure sine wave, it's on. You can't hear it, it's, it's amazing. Okay, that's it. And I just thought I'd give you an update on what the solar looks like. Very simple setup, but you've got to remember that when you do this, um, your um, your it just depends on on what you're doing. Your uh, power and your um, fuses should be in a particular order. It refer to uh, online diagrams, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, I've got my own diagram, and I'm going to do something with this bunch of cords here. But at any rate, that's it. Very simple, and it looks good.